hey hello welcome friend so in this video we are going to learn how we can read a large file from sftp server in uic so when i am talking about large it means that a file with more than 50 mb size right so with the help of read operator we are reading the file read operation we are reading the file from sftp server right but read operation have some limit you cannot read file which have more than 50 mb so what we will do in the case we will use download operation so let's begin and i will show you how we can do this so first i will use read operation to read the large file with more than 50 mb then i will show you what error we are getting then how we can resolve that error with the help of download file operation so let's begin so let me show you first the server so here if you will see this is my sftp server and here in the directory in the data file directory here i will place the my file so here if you will see i have one data file I have given the name as data file more than 50 MB, right? And here you can see the size of this data file is 83 MB, something like that, right? So I will drag this here. So it will take some time to move file from server, from local to SFTP server. So let's do this thing. So if you will see the size of the file, so the size of the file is here, you can see 817 MB. So this is this file have more than 50 mb size right so we cannot read this file from sftp server with the help of read a file operator operation so how we will do we will check that so let's create integration till that file will be transferred so just click on the create i will select schedule okay and let give the name xx download file from sftp0 okay now create so our first first step will be to getting the file from server right so for getting the file from server we required ftp adapter so we added ftp connection here and i am going to download the file so i will use download download file ftp and here i told you whenever we uh, we have requirement that we need to read a file from sftp server we use read a file operator operator right operation so when we select read a file we have to provide the file directory and the file name so here if you will see this is my file directory x hyphen dev1 sftp xx data file so if you will see hyphen dev1 sftp xx data file right inside this we are pressing the file and what is the file name we are we have to provide the file name if you will see here we have file name this one right data file more than 50 mb so let me copy this file name and here i have to place the file name okay just next so here we have to provide the structure what kind of structure so we have csv file so let me open the file so if you will see this is the file right so it's taking time to open right so just wait a while while so that it will open because that's 800 mb size file right that's why it's getting issue so here file opened successfully if you will see yeah this is my file right so this much of data available in the file and the size of this file is 810 mb something like that so we have to read this file from sftp server so we have to create a structure right so let me copy this one new paste so that actually we have to upload the file structure right so for uploading the file structure we require a sample right so file sample 01.csv right yes so here i will provide the sample click next and now provide the sample so because we know when we are going to read a file we require sample right file sample what kind of file we are going to receive so r and rs okay done so here everything will be same i don't want to do any changes next and done so here with the help of read operation we will read the file from server right so just remove the error by enabling the tracing variable save save and close so now configure activate so now it's time to just first check that file is processed or not so the process cannot be because the process is locked the person okay okay retry yeah actually we have opened this file right here that's why it's not transferring the file so now let me let's complete the file transfer then we'll start the integration 
So now you can see file transfer successfully. Right now we have data file here our server. So let me run the integration. So integration is activated. Just run the integration. So when yeah, so run ID is 006. So I will check here. So 009. Sorry. So it will take some time to run. So here you can see that our integration completed in error. Why it's completed in error? If you will see the log message, it's clearly mentioned that the message, if you will see here, sorry, error message, that error occur as file size exceeds the maximum threshold size of 50 MB. So as I told you that when we use read file operation, read file will read only the file which have minimum less than 50 MB of size. But you can see our data file have the size more than 50 MB, that is 810 MB, right? So we cannot read a file with the read a file operation which have more than more than 50 MB size, right? So what we can do, we can use download operation instead of read, right? So here we have download operation, download a file. So download a file, what it will do? It will pick the file, it will read the file from SFTP and load into OIC logical directory. It will not actually read the file. It will download the file in OIC logical directory, right? So it means that the file which is available over SFTP server now after the load download operation, it will be available on OIC logical directory as a file reference. So what you need to do is that you need to re use a read stage operation to read the file from OIC logical directory. So here I will provide the input directory name. So this is the input file directory, input directory. And this is the file name, it asking the file name. So we have file name as data file more than 10 mb.csv. And this is a download directory. This is a download directory. So this download directory is the directory where we have, it will be downloaded. It will be downloaded in OIC logical directory. So we have to provide. So let me provide this temporary directory as temp and done click next here it's done now update so here you can see where you can get that kind of issue like sometimes when you edit the endpoint and all so here you can see this error is that because of that way we, we change the operation and when we change the operation it's remove the mapper right so you have to add the mapper so you can manually add the mapper so drag mapper here and it will automatically add the mapper so you can see the map download ftp so here we don't want to provide anything because I have added everything in, in the endpoint only, right? So remember when you will you will drag the mapper, mapper manually. So if you have only one endpoint remain, it will automatically add the mapper with the same endpoint. But if suppose there will be multiple endpoint and then you will drag. So it will ask you the name of endpoint for which you are going to add the mapper, right? So now it's done, completed. So save. So remember what it will do, it will read the, it will download the file, it will download the file from SFTP server to OIC logical directory, not able to read the file, it will just give the reference of the file or from OIC, in OIC logical directory, you cannot read the file, right, for reading the file, then what you need to do, you have a file reference as a response of this download file FTP, so what you need to do is that you need to use a stage operation, stage activity in the stage activity you will select read operation so also same i will explain you later right so just click save and let me show you the first that we are able to read the file or download the file from sftp server which is more than 50 mb of size just save this integration yeah now execute or run All right submit so you can see id is one zero so when here i will check the one zero id in the queue right it will take some time to download the file from sftp server as the size is 810 mb right it's larger file right so in this way you can handle the larger file you can read the larger file from sftp server right so it will take some time so let's wait for that so here you can see that our program is completed successfully last time if you remember we got the error why we got the error because we are not able to read a file from server which have more than 50 mb but when we use the operation as a download, we are able to successfully able to download the file in OIC. So here if you will see the log message, this download file FTP will return response as a file reference, not the file data. So if you will go to the response, here you can see. So let me copy these things in notepad only. Right here if you will see, 
here we have the file reference inside download response we have ICS file inside ICS file we have file reference so this is the file reference which we have downloaded from the SFTP server and where we have downloaded we have downloaded in the temp directory only right and this is the file name what file name we have downloaded here you can see the size and all so friend this is the basic integration where we have learned how to read large file from SFTP server and if you have any other queries you can ask we have and right now if you will see we got the response as a file reference not the file data if you want to read the data whatever data available in the file you have to use read operation read operation of a stage file so once you will let me show you right once you will use read operation of a stage file they have also some restriction right so here if you will see i will read file read file a stage i have added the control here if you will see if you will use read entire file it will get error because read entire file operation of a stage file have limit to read 10 mb file only if your data file have to more than 10 mb data so right now as we have file reference and the size is 810 mb then we have to use operation as a read file in segment so i will create separate video for that where i will explain you how you can read uh, a, a file more than 10 mb size you with the help of read file in segment so thank you so much for watching